This is the ABM 300 from Ashdown Engineering. And it's a loud and extremely powerful 300 watt bass amp head that just has so many crisp, warm, and very just natural sounding bass tones inside of it, alongside some incredibly unique and awesome features too. So Ashdown, I've heard of these guys for years, but I've never played any of their stuff before. But I reckon if Shavo from System of a Down, freaking Geezer Butler of Black Sabbath, Nate Mendel from the Foo Fighters, Guy Pratt of Pink Floyd, and many other artists really love their stuff, then there's gotta be something good about them, right? Well, I have to say that this bass amp sounds so good, so crisp, so powerful. And overall, there's just this beautiful, warm, and very crisp, tube sound that just engulfs your tone and it sounds so good. But before we dig into the ABM 300 and for the sake of transparency, this video is sponsored by Ashdown. But of course, as always with any sponsored content that has absolutely no rain on what I say, any of the sounds in this video, any opinions that I have over it at all or anything like that. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. So for all the sounds you're gonna hear in this video, it's essentially a mix of the DI out along with the Ashdown ABM 115 cab mic'd up with an AKG D112. And that's pretty much it. Coming in at around 27 pounds, this thing is beefy, but it also just feels super sturdy too. And all the tones inside of it completely make it worth it. And the fact that it also basically comes in its own road case is so awesome. So with the front panel going from left to right, you start with your instrument input, as well as your input control knob, which lets you set the signal going into your tube preamp. And not only that, but you get this cool little level reading too, which I always love because it just looks so rad to me. <laughs> then in between those, there are two switches, the top one being your push flat slash shape. And basically when it's out, it has all the EQ that you've already set good to go. But when you push it in, it basically turns everything flat. And then below that is your passive active switch. Moving on to the middle controls, we'll start with the top, which is your EQ section. Basically nine total ways to go ahead and change your EQ. There's three knobs and six sliders. But what I think is really cool is you can turn those sliders on and off. So if you want it to be an extremely simple three-way EQ of bass, mid, and treble, you can do that. But if you wanna go in and really dial every little bit, then you can go ahead and turn those EQ sliders on. And below the EQ section are three controls that I think really set this amp apart in the market and give it its own voice and style completely. The first being the Valve Drive Plus, which just adds such a nice and extremely natural, warm, just nice grit to your overall tone. But of course, you can make it go really nasty if you want to. So it's really nice, even if you're playing clean, to turn the drive on and just have it at about nine or 10 o'clock because you feel and hear that warmth and that nice little bit of natural grit go into your tone. But of course, if you wanna crank it too, you can absolutely do that. It's by no means a modern drive of any kind, but it just sounds like a really pushed tube amp that just sounds so nasty and full. Next to that is the onboard dynamic compression, which just sounds extremely natural. And it just sounds like it just completely evens out every single bit of that low fret to the high fret and just really brings it all in very naturally. And then there's the sub harmonics. I absolutely 
love this feature and it sounds so damn good to me. Basically what it is is an analog octaver built into the amp that just adds that really nice low end that just sounds so good. And then after that, you have your DI output as well as the controls for your pre slash post EQ, as well as your overall mute switch and then your overall output knob too. Then for your outputs in the front, you have a tuner and line out. Then when you flip the amp around to the back, it's extremely simple. Essentially what you have is your power switch, a foot switch input, line input, as well as your effects loop, and then your two speaker outputs too. So for the positives on this amp, straight up, I just love how it sounds. It sounds so natural, so full, and so powerful too. I love not only the clean tones that you can get that are just such a reliable and easy to use clean tone, but as well as the drive tones too. Again, the drive tones are nothing modern by any means, but it just sounds so cool and so warm too. I think really if you have this amp, just always have that drive turned on at least at nine o'clock or 11 o'clock, anywhere around there, it just adds such a beautiful grit to it. And not only is it the clean and that added drive sound to it, but the onboard compression as well as the sub harmonics are so rad and such a really cool feature to me too. Too. As for the negatives, I know there's a lot of people that are not gonna like this at all because it's not a small little compact class D amp. This is a hybrid tube amp that is pretty big and it again, it is 26 pounds. So it's a big boy that has some big tones with it too. And I know a lot of people aren't gonna like that it doesn't have a modern drive sound to it, but because there is an effects loop, I would say grab your overdrive, distortion, fuzz pedal, whatever, and just throw that in there and you'll be good to go. But overall with the ABM 300, this is just such an impressive amp to me and it sounds so good. I cannot get over how great it sounds, especially with that valve drive just plugged in and just sounds so thick and so gnarly. But again, so clear and so precise too. No matter what bass I used with it, it just sounded really damn good. But of course, let me know what you guys think about the ABM 300. And is there any other Ashdown stuff I should really be checking out? There are at least some bases I saw that look really cool that I really want to try out. But thank y'all so much for watching as always, for watching, commenting, sharing, subscribing, all that crazy stuff. I truly do appreciate it, y'all. And of course, a humongous thank you to my Patreon supporters right here. Mwah, mwah. If you wanna be like one of these gorgeous people right here and help support the channel every single month, then go ahead and head on over to my Patreon page. But that is gonna be it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much as always for watching. I know I say it all the time, but truly thank y'all so much for all the support over the years. It's just been such a crazy ride and I'm just excited that I'm still doing this and it's just so much fun to me as well. But I just love you guys and love all the support and just all the connections we have together too. But thank you all again. And of course, as always, no matter where in the world you are, stay safe, practice that bass, drink more water, and I'll see y'all next time. <laughs>